So there's this uh, question in the Facebook group a uh, week, week or two ago about the recorder for zero length contact 2D not working. Uh, so sometimes I'd, when I, when I see interesting things like this that could be bugs in open seas, I'll, I'll answer and try to figure it out, right? But it ended up being a, an interesting issue, which I, I could write about it, but it's way too nuanced and would take so long to write it. So I thought I would just explain it in a video. But the there's an issue with the function signature and the recorders. So like, here's the element header file, the base base class. And if you look at these two functions, set response and get response, that's what the recorders call, all right, in order to get the, the data. So th the signature for set response is uh, character arrays, integer, and then an OPS stream, right? But if you go to zero length contact. Wait, what's OPS uh, stream? It's, just, it's a, a wrapper around the output stream. So it could go to like standard out or standard error or like uh, JSON output or di different types of uh, streams for, for output. I don't, but I don't even think it's used, but uh, I, th I think it's for some of the JSON stuff. But, uh, but the, the last argument on the function is OPS stream. And I, I, I don't know if it's actually used, but, uh, <laughs> but I guess the, uh, the, some of the elements have like zero length contact, which the person asked about, the set response has argv, argc, and then the information as part of the signature. So instead of like overriding the element base class function, it's just defining a new function with a different signature, all right? And if this is one of those polymorphism things within OpenSeas, or with C++, sorry, um, that it's kind of difficult to, to uh, discern uh, because you say, oh, well, the zero length contact element has set response defined, right? argv, argc information, but the base class has argv, argc, and then a different, so the signatures are different, right? And then if you look, so that means since the signatures are different, you just have a class or a function in the subclass that's uh, uh, not overriding anything. It's just defining a new function. So basically what happens is, uh, whenever set response or recorder is created for the zero length contact, it's going to come to this function, which is in the base class, right? Instead of what is in zero length contact 2D, right? So the recorder is not going to record anything. Um, well, no. It will, oh yeah, 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 it's very, very confusing. So, sorry, so the, the recorder will come to this function and it'll say, okay, yeah, force, global force, it's all good. It'll return a code. Basically this code gets returned of one, 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 one. All right, it's just, it's a unique number, right? So then whenever the, the recorder, Quarter records. See, I, I can't even talk about it. It's coherently. Uh, imagine trying to write about it, right? But whenever the recorder records, right, it's going to come to. What does it do? It'll go to get response, and it'll for. Uh, trying to think of how to explain this uh, cleanly, but it'll, it'll come to get response for the zero length contact element with 11111 as the response ID. And if we go to that function, let me find the header file, the old version of the header file, because I changed it already. Uh, yeah, so if we go to get response, Response. It's going to come in here with one, 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 right? But all it's looking, all it has is one, two, three, and four, right? 
So then it'll just return negative one and there'll be no output to the recorder, right? And that's because there was misalignment in the set response uh, initially. So a few things had to be fixed. Uh, so can I ask you a question? Yeah, so yeah, please. Yeah. Is that whoever wrote the element defined yeah. a function called set response that the program never ran because it runs its own set response or get response. Yeah. Cause um, that, that was actually an old, an old signature for the set response. Okay. So they didn't just make it up. It's just, it never got updated to the new signature with the OPS and, stream. And so should we, when you do the element, it should have just been repeated to be exactly the same as what's in element or maybe it almost didn't need to be done. Uh, well, the, the way to, to fix it is, yeah, it should, so it should call, let me see if I can get the actual file, uh, here. So I fixed it, but it was, let's see. There's like a couple issues going on here. Uh, but so it changed the signature for set response in the zero length contact so that this function will get called when the recorder is created and it'll go through, you know, force, blah, 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 you know, pressure, which is specific to this element and gap. But if none of these are found, what you, instead of returning a negative one, you just call the base class set response, which has the one, 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 two, 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 two three, three, you know, these codes okay. that Frank and I think nobody's ever going to use in their, in their uh, recorder set response, get response. So it kind of looks at the element first. And then if none of those match, then it'll go back to the base class implementation. Okay. So we'll run there. one or then, okay. So yeah. I can write a set response. Yeah. Function in my element and do whatever I want, you know, ask for forces or pressure or, you know, whatever yeah. I want. Yeah. And then if a user enters something different, then it's going to go to the fundamental. Otherwise it wouldn't. Go yeah. To just check, element. check all the like basic fundamental okay. uh, set response options and then in get response. Right. So it'll do, it'll check one, two, three, or four, which are these codes that were up here. And same thing, like if none of these are found, just go back to the base class and call its okay. get response, right? Uh -huh. Okay. So that it's all, you know, like it'll catch all the the defaults. So the original, the impl initial implementation of zero length contact 2D, you know, had just return negative one here, right? But we made that, and it also had the, a different signature. So those are two kind of different issues, right? And then also the the, the get isn't response. Really, what the yeah. problem is, because nobody uses that anyways, right? Well, but it was it was used? a problem because if this signature, if this is different, the signature is different. So it'll always just call the recorder is always just going to call the base class set response. Oh, okay. This function was never being called. Okay because this is different and the compiler sees it as just a different function that's not uh, not called. Right. And so, so set response yeah. can only have these three sets of arguments, really. Yeah. The yeah. arguments. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, but, but it's always good to, when you're doing, when you're overriding set response or get response in your element or your material, right. To just, if you can, if nothing's found up here, just return the base class, like call the base class and let it kind of sort out if there's something okay. standard uh, to do uh, with set and get response. Okay. And so now yeah. set response has just the typical, you know, for global force and force and things like that. Yeah. So this is the base class. Yeah. It has, Oh yeah, so here's where the OPS stream is, like it's outputting attributes and tags, I think for, okay. um, I guess JSON or, or something, I, I'm not sure. But yeah, like force, global force, 
damping force, like for Rayleigh damping, dynamic force with the inertial terms, and inertial force only. Right. So those are kind of the st the default recorder options that every element should, uh, or that that can be computed for every element without having to get down into the element. Right. And then you know the get response just you know it's just calling these functions because those are just generic i mean they're forces the generic so they're... yeah okay yeah. oh interesting yeah. okay but then you can override all that and you know add things like pressure gap or stiffness or whatever right mm -hmm. but just be sure you instead of just returning negative one or zero or whatever like just return a call to the base class just just to let it because otherwise you're like you're like cutting off a connection mm -hmm. right and yeah. so what was happening the recorder was not recording anything and it was just giving a blank file yeah because because this signature was incorrect right so this function wasn't even called so the recorder came here and it said oh yeah global force right one 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 right and then the set response, or excuse me, get oh, response. Yeah. This has the right signature. So then the recorder was coming directly here to zero length contact get response. And there's no one, 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 right? And th this part wasn't there. It was just returning a negative one or something. So it just recorded nothing, right? But if this line of code was there, I think it would have worked. Right. right with not the specific gap and things like that but yeah at least it would have worked for to get global force and yeah it. which i think is what he was asking for was uh cord should oh force and stiff okay so he's asking for force and stiffness so okay. uh force would have worked but not because yeah force is okay. there but not does it even have yeah. stiffness in its own it's it's in the subclass. It yeah. Is in subclass. Yeah, here. Yeah. Okay. So then yeah, the recorder was just coming here with a one 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 one, right? And then getting nothing, right? And then the so, process of figuring that out, I saw, well, th this was the wrong signature. So or this is the correct one, but it was wrong uh, before. Right. So, so now few, we know how to define called. recorders for element. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And it's the same with materials as well. Uh, so if you just look at the pull request, uh, that one, that one, yeah, here. I mean, I changed like 30 files. So a lot of these elements had the same issue right like information op i just kind of grabbed for everything i was like oh okay. oh wow so let me oh, ask you yeah. were these mistakes due to the fact that maybe open seas changed in format since they did it or is it just not enough knowledge i mean what yeah i mean we we changed the yeah this so these set response signatures with the information as the third argument, that was an old signature. And then Frank, maybe Andreas Schellenberg changed it to OPS stream many, many years ago. But I think some of these elements, we just didn't go through and change everything and a few elements got left behind. And then, you and know, it still compiles and runs, but you know, that doesn't mean it's going to give you the right uh, output, but. So that's pretty bold of you guys to just go in and change something that was standard. Now, would you then, yeah. which I, I mean, could understand. happens all the time. Yeah, well, that's what kind of scares me about it. But would you do the diligence of going back to see if there are elements or materials that use the old, like you just did yeah. this now because somebody asked. And so you've done this update, mm -hmm. but would this be part of, you know, if you're changing format of some basic functions, do you go back and look at existing? Yeah, yeah. Okay. 